Z. What's up, Robert, Chris, Leo, bring in the heat, that's right. Let's dive in. Let's talk. This is what I'm looking at right here. Andrew Vaughn. It's important for us. Andrew Vaughn went one for two with an RBI single Friday afternoon in Cactus League play. Vaughn is now three for eight with a home run, four RBIs, and a stolen base so far. He is obviously the best choice to fill the designated hitter role. However, without a long-term deal in place like Luis Robert and Eloy, it's not a guarantee that Vaughn breaks camp with the team. Either way, the right-handed slugger is sure to be a fixture in Chicago in the future. Well, uh, I read that they want him to make the opening day roster. And if they do, whew, series two, baby. Series two, baby. We're going to have Key Brian and Vaughn. <coughs> At least, at the very least, and those are just just the ones that we know about. You know some other players are going to make break camp that we're not even thinking about. Maybe we get a surprise in Seattle. I'm just hoping. Maybe we get a surprise in Tampa. Andrew Vaughn, three-run home run. Eloy's going to be the primary left fielder. Okay. It's just... We got, we got to dig. What's up, Daniel? Joseph. What's happening, Kyle? What else we got here? Ray Black has experienced a velocity dip. That's no good. Came out hitting 98 with his heater, but then down to 90, 92. Rot row. I smell a Tommy John surgery coming up. Justin Upton smashed his first home run of spring. One for two on the day with a solo shot. Unfortunately, he batted just 204 with nine home runs last year, posting an exit velocity in the 87th percentile. Matt Olson bashed one, continuing to hammer the ball. Poor Kyle Keller. Apparently, he never stood a chance. Olsen is batting a solid, if not spectacular, 429 through a insignificant amount of plate appearances. Mondesi, he's back, baby. One for two with an RBI double in his soaring debut against the Dodgers. Batting in the two-hole. Unfortunately, Benintendi was the one missing from the lineup. These are things we have to know. All of this. Chris Taylor, two for three with a grand slam against the Royals. He's 30. 30 years old. Z's got a bat down. Whew. Z. It's like a... $3,000 card now. Nico. Okay, this is something that we got to look at, guys. Because if Nico starts performing, this is important. The number 24 overall pick in 2018 batted 222 with 19 runs. Not that great. 571 OPS is very bad. But Two for two with a home run on Friday against probably some scrub. Oh, no, Tristan McKenzie, Dr. Sticks, okay. Uh, I got another RBI. 23, okay, this is this is what we need right here. The 23-year-old was the favorite to run away with the Cubs' second base job after finishing the year as a gold glove finalist. However, there's always a however. He hit just 222 in 48 games. So he may have some competition from the newly acquired Eric Sogard. No, no offense to Eric Sogard, but if you can't beat him out, the, the light hitting Eric Sogard, come on, Nico. Hopefully the Sogard was just brought in to light a fire under Nico's belt. And look what happened the other day here on Thursday. He went three for three. So he went three for three, then two for two. 
Two runs scored and a steal. He blistered an opposite field single. Love the adjectives, guy. Um, yeah, that, let's keep reading. This guy says the talent is there for him to be a productive player. Well, that's not exactly high praise. Just being a productive player. But, you know, he did blister the ball. So that's good. Whoa, dude, he's crushing. Look at this. Two for three on Tuesday against the Royals. He doubled off a of Jake Junis. It was the only hit the Cubs managed against the righty. And then he grounded into a double play. Let's just forget we even read that. Let's just forget all about that. Nico. I bet you guys have some Nico cards. Don't you? I know you do. I certainly do. All right. Well, that was fun. I'm sure there's plenty of more news, but there's only so many hours in the day. We have seven likes. Completely unacceptable, but I know you guys can do better. Let's get this zoomed back out. Whoa. There. Tilt it down. I don't really trade Zach. It never ends up well. It's so hard to do it over the, over the internet. Miscommunication. Shipping. You, you don't actually get to see the card, you know, physically touching it, smelling it, tasting it, licking it. All the stuff that you really want to do face-to-face -face with a card. So, no. Derek stashed some Nico autos. Good. What's on the wall behind your boxes there? Uh, acoustic paneling. Don't you notice my voice sounds spectacular? Because it's not bouncing all over the place. Oh, what else do we have? Well, let's talk. Let's talk about the break. It's going to be a, not identical, but almost identical to yesterday. Instead of the... 2020 update i added an extra pack of this because i ran out of 2020 update but look at this spread right here i can't wait to do this look at this it's like this is a full house the full house of baseball cards i got a set of aces and a pair of kings right here so we're gonna crush throwing in another one of these Looking for Devers, because his, you know, his stuff's going to heat up. It already is. And then, crushing this. Merking this. And then, and then we retire for the evening. I did a lot of breaks this week, and they're all shipped out, baby. All of them. Immediate shipment. Next day. Nobody does it like Stryker. Nobody. Redskins fan in the house, by chance? Got a package from you. I was going to open it. If we have a couple minutes here. But I will wait until I see ya. I don't see it quite yet in here. Unless you're lurking. Washington football team. That's right, I forgot. But, no. It's the Redskins. <laughs> Derek says, Striker ships so fast you get it before it's ripped. I am the master of space and time. Our Series 1 Mega Box is a good value. If you're talking about 2021, I don't know. I haven't seen the odds. I haven't digested them or put them into the spreadsheet or anything like that, so... I can't say for sure. Oftentimes, oh, maybe you can help me out. Is there an exclusive in the mega box? Because oftentimes, the odds on the mega boxes aren't as good to pull like the normal things, the regular parallels and things like that. But they make up for it having an exclusive. So, is there an? Ex There's got to be an exclusive in there, right? Something Chrome or 
like with the blaster boxes, how they have those chrome with 50 whatever throwback. Bought two today. Nothing worth a dang, says Chris. Hmm. Chris B, what up? Happy Friday. You know what? That reminds me. Friday. It is Friday, isn't it? Man, time just passes by, doesn't it? Ticking away the moments that make up a dull day. I'll be right back. Happy Friday. Now we can enjoy it together. Oh, let's see here. Oh man, that I think time is the greatest song ever written. It's gotta be. You fritter and waste the hours in an offhand way. Yeah. Kicking around on a piece of ground in your hometown. Waiting for someone or something to show you the way, yeah. Oh, I love that song. So good. So good. I, like, every time I hear it, I get tingly. It transcends generations. I would play some Floyd, but I, I think I'd get kicked off. I think they'd boot me right away but i don't know if we're doing a stream where i where i don't have to do a break one of these times i will try to play some other music but last time i did it it got a little glitchy and i got strikes yeah maybe i can get away with singing it all right I think we're about there, aren't we? About ready to rip. Mm. Gosh, now I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head for like a week at least. When I get songs stuck in my head, they don't leave. Like they just rattle around in there. Day and night, night and day, while I'm sleeping, while I'm awake. It's over and over and over and over, it's weird. I mean, just so you run and you run to catch up with the sun, but it's sinking, racing around to come up behind you again. The sun is the same in a relative way, but you're older, shorter of breath and one day closer to death. Oh, like I just, like it makes me tingly even just thinking of that. So, just dripping with logos. Dripping with it. 357. Whoa! Alright. Let's do this. The Hobby Blitz Part 2. Don't know why. I just thought it was hilarious to have Charlie Sheen shooting a chicken. What a funny... I, they don't make movies like that anymore. And they should. I mean, the, the last kind of like parody movies were the scary movie movies, and they just kind of overdid that. The first three of them, the first three scary movies were pretty good, but ever since then, I don't even know if there's more. I, I, I'm sure there's more of them that I didn't even bother to remember. If you eat celery, it makes you forget the song. Whatever, hey, I'm down to try any trick, dude. Seriously. Unless it's like, you gotta, you gotta put something somewhere that you don't want to put something, uh, you know, like the 
like the Chinese do to any foreigners entering the country, trying to dance around, but you guys get it, right? Okay, let's give this a quick little shuffle. Is everybody here? Is everybody here? Okay, everybody's here. Leslie Nielsen, yes, yes. The Naked Gun movies, classic. Because he, the best part about that is he's like a serious actor. Leslie Nielsen, and that that's almost why it's so good because his comedic, his comedic timing and everything was so perfect. He's just like, he's acting in a dead serious manner, but pure, pure like parody and slapstick going all around him. All right, getting back to business. Getting these out of order, one shuffle. Three times on the teams. There's one. Two. And three. Colorado Rockies. How do you do? How many times? Airplane, yep, classic. How many times? How many times? Four. Four shuffles. Obsessed collector. It's going great, man. We started off with a bang. Getting some Pink Floyd in my head for a week. All right. One. Two. Three. What the hell is that? I don't know if that worked. There. One and then one more. That was weird. It just kind of glitched. All right. Chris B. On top. With the Rockies. Putting them in order. A to Z. There we go. Diamondbacks, Kyle K, Braves, James S, Orioles, Jake P, Red Sox, Jason B, Cubs, Brandon A, White Sox, Matthew J, Reds, Chris H, Indians, Frederick C, Rockies, Chris B, Tigers, David T, Astros, Mark H, Royals, Skyler M, Angels, Greg T, Dodgers, Kirk M, Marlins, Joseph C, Brewers, Ernesto F, Twins, Scott B, Mets, John C, Yankees, Jack H, Athletics, Steve H, Phillies, Brian T, Pirates, Brian A, Padres, Lance K, Giants, Dean K, Mar Mariners, Kiri, Cardinals, Eric S, Rays, Mervin S. Sorry, these is so small. Rangers, Mark N, Blue Jays, I'm squinting. Jake W, Nationals, Robert H. I need to make the, this bigger. The 12 font isn't cutting it. My old eyes. My old, old eyes. I've got the eyes of a 98-year-old. Okay, printing, and then I'll drop the link. I've decided that the, I have to print first and then drop the link. It's more efficient, and I'm all about efficiency. I am German. German heritage, efficiency. Achtung, Achtung! Sorry, every once in a while that just slips out. There we go. There's the link for you. And my little helper's coming up the stairs. I hear her, I think. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the trick. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. I didn't even have to get up. Why is the Bowman Mega Box the same size as the blasters? Well, Eli, it is not. How's that? It's not the same size. 
Not even close. Would you like a representation, an actual? An actual size comparison for the Bowman Mega Box to a blaster box. Goes a little something like this. Look at this. See? Not the same size. Not even close. Thickness, relatively equal. Length, not even close. All right. Never cold. Do we have a fellow bear in the chat? Are you a bear never cold? That would make three. Shall we? Shall we dabble in some 2018? Let's do it. Ah, all right, good. Roan Bear. I don't know where Roan Bear's at, but that's how we know each other. All right, here we go. 2018. We're looking for all kinds of little gravy pieces, little morsels, little pieces of sausage in the gravy. Let's go. I won't be satisfied unless we get a Devers. Well, how, how about I give you the proper angle there? Daniel on fire again with the super chat. Getting it rolling. He says, good luck, everyone. Thank you, Daniel. We appreciate the luck. We're going to need it. We're going to need it. How about a gold, Devers? I'd be happy with a Robles, too. Um, maybe even... I don't know, a Walker Bueller rookie, all three. How about all three? How much are the 2018 Chrome update boxes? They're about $500 plus dollars right now, about $550. Aaron Judge, league leaders. Willie. gaming. Roan Bear ain't here yet, but I am. Allegedly, he hasn't shown up yet. Allegedly. But you never know. He might be, he might just have it on in the background while he's slaying wizards in the back. All right, where, where is all the good stuff? Where is it? That's not a blue, is it? It's possible that that's a blue. Let's, if we compare, yeah, because look at white, white, blue. So I think that might be a blue, which is pretty cool. We'll put that in the good card pile. Prices are crazy right now, never cold. It's, it's to the point where I don't even know what we should be breaking. I mean, I do because it's always the best around here, but... The prices, the prices, the prices, the prices. I need to get some more. I need to get some more 2020 Series One before it's too late, because they've are. It's already gone up to over. Wow, oh, geez, what is it? It's over 300 now for a jumbo. I think it settled in around 250 for quite a while. 260, you know, 270 maybe at the most. But now you can barely find them for less than like three something. And the 2020 Bowman is also crazy. 425 for a hobby. Probably be 450, like might even be 450 already. 
But that's what happens when the value of the cards, the individual cards, like, they have to kind of stay in line. Because if they don't, then people just gobble up a bunch of wax looking for the card that's worth more. Like, imagine, you know, pretty much in a hobby box or a jumbo box, you're almost guaranteed to get, like, all, all the guys that you want. It's going to be close. So, you know, we don't always get a JD and a Bobby out of a hobby or a jumbo, but every other time, I'd say. Just imagine, like, the 2016... The 2016 Bowman is very expensive. But imagine, get, like, almost guarantee, guaranteeing the fact that you're going to get either and maybe both a Tatis Chrome and a Vlad Chrome. There's also... Who else? There's just like a ton of guys in there too, like second tier guys. So a Tatis first chrome is going for like a G and a PSA 10. So the, a box has got to be at least that, which it is. Like a jumbo box is a thousand bucks of that 2018 or 2016 Bowman chrome. Mervin says, hey, Striker, just had to look back at who I got. Tampa guy. Can't be mad about getting a raise. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad you got somebody you like. Well, good luck. How about, I mean, let's see. We got to get at least at least one Tatis debut and all the other stuff. We're doing three of these today. Uh, they're just so good. Will Smith rookie. You know, you don't even think about Will Smith rookies being in here, but here they are right in your face. Going to Kirk. Eloy rookie debut. How much good stuff out of one pack? Well, we got two. Going to Matthew. And we got a Biggio rookie debut. There's three. Why would you not just buy? Because a Tatis PSA 10 right now is $150. These are like 15 bucks. And all the other guys you can get. You can get the true Vlad, you can get the Vlad debut, you can get the Pete debut, the Elo debut. Like, you add it all up, and these packs are a great deal. There's a Pete debut. Look at this bot. Look at this pack alone. One pack. Now, yes, you're not going to get rich on Pete Alonzo rookie debuts, but his base stuff, his rookies are starting to tick up a little bit, and that means the debuts go right along with it. They're attached. The debuts are attached to the regular rookies. They're usually about half, maybe a little less than than the regular rookies. But there's still value there, quite a bit. Yes, yes, the rush that you get. Joe Maurer, iconic card. It's like, there's a time and a place to buy singles. But buying the ratio of what it costs for a pack of these to what it costs to buy the card in a gem is not where it should be which is you know always searching for value another pete this is the rookie the home run rookie followed by the iconic acuna blowing the bubble and what else how about some more this is just Enough said. I'm done. I'm done pumping. There's no need to pump anymore. Look at this freaking pack. And they're all like this. Not all, but most. Congratulations. There's a potential for a $150 card right there. Going to Lance. Just like that. Boom. Boom. Tatis and a Vlad. Okay, we're gonna look. We're gonna look at all the gravy from this pack. <laughs> Vlad home run rookie, a Brendan Rodgers rookie debut. He's gonna be starting this year, so he might turn out to be. Who knows? Watch him. And there's a Nick Senzel also starting this year. Look at all this. Tatis debut, Senzel rookie, Rodgers rookie debut, Guerrero home run rookie. Pete home run rookie, Pete rookie debut, Biggio rookie debut, Eloy rookie debut, Will Smith rookie. One pack. Only the best 
for the slammers. Let's just get doubles of all that stuff then, eh? That's why we don't even need to include like 10 packs of this. Just like a couple, a few even. And then one of these, we're gonna get something fancy too. Not every pack is like that, James. No, you're right, but everyone we open Dare I dare say everyone we open has a little something in it. Like a Brian Reynolds rookie, second tier rookie. You know, he had a bad year, but he did really well in 2019, along with the whole rest of the league with the juice balls. But let's keep it going. We can do better than that. Daniel throwing two on the Tatis. The info is worth it. Thank you. I hope so. Just trying to help you guys out. We got a gold. So also huge potential with the golds. There's one right there. Jeff McNeil, another little side piece. All-star game. Pudge. And Hector Neris. But it is a gold, and golds are... Gutierrez. Another Acuna. Oxy. Matt Beatty, rookie. So that one wasn't as loaded, but we still got a few things. The gold, the Acuna, the McNeil, the uh, Reynolds. Number three. <laughs> yeah, they, they balance them out. I mean, if they were all... What is this? Oh. Okay. Let's see if it continues. This is a different pack. This is a different collation here, so we'll see. Talkman rookie. If you're a Yankee, that'll float your boat. Cole Tucker rookie. He's going to be given a chance at shortstop this year, supposedly. <sighs> Looks like an SP, but I don't think it is. No. Griffin Canning debut. We got Dion and a Puig 150. Puig 150. Andrew pulled your first Lubob Refractor today. Excellent. That's a nice card, man. That's PSA 10. You're talking probably 200 or more for that. Yeah. Uh, all right. Kyle Tucker. Cole Tucker, I mean. Anybody? Puig Stamp. Not as good as that. This one. All right, I'm going to try this different. I'm going to open up both of these little master packs. And then I'm going to mix them all up. Okay, how about this? How about we open the pink first? We open the pink packs first because been on been on a little bit of a, a lull with the pinks and i'm gonna make it happen with kershaw get butt in there first then clayton claws double soaking pink opening first here we go you met cole tucker once yeah i like him is puig on a team i don't know what if Puig doesn't even have a team? Should put on Pink Floyd to open the pinks. By the way, which one's pink? Well, this one, D Strange. Okay. Mm Klubat, Castillo, and Yelich. Oh, come on, Big Pink. Big Pink. Big Pink. 
Richard says, I was at Target and a couple collectors who were smaller than me tried to bully me out of cards. I thought it was funny. They didn't. Yeah. I've ran into that situation. But I get mouthy. And people back down. Look at that. That's off cut. Never been one to hold back. It's, it's rough out there. It's the Wild West. Wow. Pink. Come on, pinks. Okay, we're going to make up for it with these. There we go. We already did. We already did. Right on the back. And it's a refractor. Look at that. Oh, it's okay. It's the 80... It's the 85. I thought it was a refractor. Kyle Lewis, not bad. Going to the Mariners. Kiri. We could put on money. That'd be appropriate. But um, dum, 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 Oh, Chaz picked up a box of 2020 Holiday from Walmart. Pulled the Bow Auto Redemption. Came today. That's awesome, dude. Lux. Freshman Flash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you... But you got to stand up for yourself, you know? If someone's trying to bully you, pop, right in the nose. <laughs> uh, you can't back down from a bully. Two freshman flashes. Always got to stand up to a bully. And then they'll move on. Because a bully wants to attack the weakest link, you know, the weakest person. So as soon as there's any resistance, they just move on to someone who's weaker than you. Same as prison. Ooh, that's a good one. I don't want to. I don't want to give that one away. There's the bow. The eighty-five bow. Going to Jake. Congratulations, Jake. Give him the one two. Yeah, I mean, my go-to move is always, like, tripping someone because it makes them feel really stupid. Like, when someone comes at you, even if it's your buddies, like your buddies, you know, you're messing around with your friends and, like, play fighting, you know, just trip them. It's so easy. Use their momentum against them. And they just fall right down, and they're embarrassed. It can get, it can get a little bit uh, escalated after that, though. But you don't have to punch them; just, just trip them. Correa refractor. All right, we're on to the hobbies. No, they never see the trip coming. By the way. A little judo trip, you know? They never see it coming. They're always like, you know, you got your, you got your dukes up and then just drop down low. I mean, it's not like if you're in a real fight, that's unless you know how to wrestle and get, get on top of them or jiu-jitsu or something after that. You better, you, you better not let them get up. They get really pissed off if you're in a real fight. But if it's just your buddies, after you trip them, you can run away. Because <laughs> they're humiliated. And they're then they're looking to like get real physical. While everybody's laughing, just like run away. Get another drink. Steve says that's your going low is your only strategy. It's a good strategy. 
My wife is a pretty good fighter. She likes to fake high and then hit you in the stomach. Faint, faint up high and then just right to the gut. Ugh. One time she gave me a roundhouse kick right to the head. Stunned me. <laughs> Matt S says, fake leg. It surprises them. Then jab right to the nose. Yeah. Mike Trout right off the bat. What context does your wife fight? The only context that she fights is if, like, so if, if, so, um, there's a few contexts. She's not like a fighter, but she will fight. She grew up with two older brothers, you know, so. Oh, that's a Tati's relic. Look at this. Sweet. Loving it. Lance. Tatis. It's a Tatis kind of day. One time we were at a we were at a bar watching some UFC fights and had some friends in from out of town, had a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of people, well, not like a whole bunch. We had probably maybe like eight, eight to 10 people there in our group. And we had a table and it was in between fights and we got up, it was pretty packed at the bar. We got up. It wasn't just a bar. It was like, it's, a, it's a restaurant and a bar, right? So we're in the restaurant part. And we went out on the, the back deck. Everybody was having a smoke. And we get, we came back inside, and there was people sitting at our table. And we're like, all you know, our stuff's there. We're like, uh, hey, man, you're sitting, you're sitting in my spot. This is my table. And the guy looks up at me. And he just like smiles, this cocky smile. And he's like, what are you going to do about it? I know the owner is what he says. And I'm like, that's it. <laughs> so I challenged him to a fight. I was like, you and me outside right now. And just the whole freaking restaurant goes outside. I was like, I will not stand for disrespect. I'm not kidding. Within like, it, it was less than a minute. Every cop in town was there. Woo, woo sirens and stuff my wife is screaming like just like ready to destroy people i was like whoa like i wasn't even that fired up i'm like easy killer she's like <laughs> i mean i was nervous for for whoever she was yelling at but yeah you can't tolerate disrespect especially in that context invite a bunch of people to a place you know i was like planning the thing too what am i gonna be like oh okay i'll go i'll go stand by the wall no we're gonna fight pache Nope, she's from Michigan. Chapman. Rainbow foil. I'm being great. That's right, SD. Another fun story. It like just uh, right in line with all this other stuff. I was going to Central, Central Michigan University. All my buddies were hanging out, watching sports, and maybe having a couple cocktails. And you ever, have you ever done that game where you, f you can flick a bottle top, bottle cap, 
you can like flick it by going like that and it just flies across the room well my my buddy liked to just like hit people like you know he'd take one off and just like flick it across hit somebody with it so he's doing that to everybody and he hit me in the chest with one and i was like don't do that again and he's like tried to hit me again and it missed and i go if you hit me again you're gonna regret it and it was it's not a big deal it's just a little bottle cap right but yeah I, i'm like i'm not doing that to you so you don't do that to me and just that's on the table so one more time ha 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 well then he was on on the ground like immediately i just form tackled him out of a chair he was like leaning back into a chair I dove right at him, form tackled him onto the ground. Great classic, pinned him to the ground, slapped him in the face a couple times. You gonna do it again? Didn't think so, never happened again. You know, give him a solid warning. You don't just like attack somebody. Give him a warning like, hey, I'm not playing that game. I'm not flicking caps at people, so don't flick them at me. It's fair, it's fair. And that's how you learn a lesson. They also like to do, <laughs> I got to know. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever play like the, like the, you know, the, the tap game down low in college. That was always, you know, someone wasn't paying attention. You just like whap them in the, in the junk. And then they go fall into the ground and <laughs> dude tried to do that to me and i was like i don't play that game i'm not hitting anybody you don't hit me you want to do all those guys who are playing that go ahead tried to do it again and fast forward about 30 seconds i was ch i was chasing him down the road with a weapon you know not like a machete but he was running for his life. I was like, I warned you. I wasn't going to do anything. He's like my best friend, you know, but hey, don't even try that. It's not like I was chasing him with this. Slightly smaller version of this maybe, but you want to see a grown man run for his life. When you got the that look in your eyes, like I freaking warned you. No, I don't mess around. Home run card, Vladdy. Is he going to get some this year? You're darn right he is. Going to Mark. No, not that, I mean... There's always fair warning. It's and it's only because I don't start I don't start it. But I will finish it. And they don't see it coming because I have a smile on my face when I'm telling them, you better stop. What's this? Oh, it's a Barry Larkin. It's a Barry Larkin. Chris going to Chris. The double card. One on the back, one on the front. Twice as nice. That's just what guys do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does. It translates to the chat, too. Like, banned for life. I, I'll give you a warning. Not just an immediate ban, unless you're like a, tr like a, a bot, an obvious bot. But it actually makes friendships stronger because there's boundaries.
All right, where are all the... I mean, we're looking for a gold. How about a clear? We're looking for a clear card out of here. How would a bot get in here? There's bots all over the internet, man. They just go and like... People, people program bots, advertising bots especially, to go in and like... Check out this website. Da, 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 da. Or come check out my channel. You can pay to have bots do that. Dylan Carlson. Joey Bart. Couple of rookies. What's up, Tate? No, Charlie, I sent those things back uh, like the next day and they're lost in the mail. <laughs> Believe or stuck in the mail or something. So mentally I'm I guess I'm prepared for to never get my cards back. So when I do get them back, I'm going to be like, "Yes!" If if I do get them back, Lou Bob Yeah, no, didn't didn't get the PSA thing squared away. I sure hope that I do though. Because there are some good ones in that box. Some of the best ones. Those that's where that's where my Jason Dominguez cards were. Spoiler alert. I guess you're supposed to say that before you spoil, but Spoiler alert, my JDs were in that box. You chalked yours up as a loss, Charlie? Oh, no. Well, hopefully you get them back, and then it'll be a great day. What a lovely day! Semyon, rainbow foil. That sounds great, Derek. No, I only, uh, I don't know how many were in there. A few, maybe t in between three and five, I think, or t between two and four. I don't know exactly how many are in there, but I think I sent like a couple of first editions and a couple of chromes. I think that's what was in there. Or maybe, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the JDs. Yeah, I saw the Dumb Dumber sequel. The well, there were two of them. Like the newest one. Is that the one you're talking about? I mean, I saw both of them, but the first sequel was ridiculously stupid. It wasn't even funny. You can't have different actors playing those guys. Hank Aaron, fake auto. This the breaks. Did you finally see the Tatis Grand Slam? Yeah. No, no, none of the other grading companies are going to be are, are going to be like the ones you want. <clears throat> they might they might get some work, but there's a big drop off between what a PSA 10's worth and like anybody else. The only value to having one of those other companies cards graded, the only value for a buyer would be that it's already been sussed out a little bit. Like, you can at least think that maybe it's a 10 or close to. But then again, yeah, nah, I'm out. And maybe it's just a mental block on my part, but... There's probably... There's, there's some kind of market there for buying those other off-brands and then cracking them and then sending them to PSA. So if that's your bag, then there you go. There's an idea on how to make money. Noah got that Tatis relic as well. That's awesome. I wish it was kind of that color, though, that jersey, though, instead of just white. Casey Mize, Sixto. 
I don't know what the turnaround is. It doesn't matter what the turnaround is, really, because they're worth less anyway. I'll, I'll just wait. And if you've noticed, it's actually a good thing that the PSA turner t turnaround times are so long because in that amount of time that you didn't have your cards, the cards have gone up so much that you made money by waiting. And it's going to happen. It's going to just keep ha happening, at least in, in the near future. Yeah, you, yeah, that's right. You could get an idea on the card, but I still don't trust it a hundred percent. But at least like it's way better than buying a raw card. But you're gonna pay a big premium. What what is this? There's something in there that I don't know what that is. It might be one of those orange ice things. Chad says, someone did a comparison between HGA 9.5s and PSA 10s, and the difference wasn't that much. Somewhere as close as 20. Well, the PSA 9.5s and the BGS, or I'm sorry, the BGS 9.5s and the PSA 10s, there's like a, it's it's about two thirds of the price, roughly, for a, a BGS 9.5 in comparison to a 10. Roughly. Varies, obviously, but... Joe Adele. Here we go. What is this? I don't know what this is, but it's backwards. Let's hope it's something sick. It's a blue Hank Aaron. Royal blue Hank Aaron. Going to James. Cool card. One per box. Love it. I'm going to put it in a top loader and put it on a stand. Because I really like these blues. They're underrated. You only get one a box. Well, you can go and you can go and look at the that sports collector app. It shows you most of the cards have a comparison, 9, 10, and then the, the BGS, 9, fives. You can just click on them and look, see the different prices. Luis Garcia. JV. Uh, no, Andrew, you can tell. I think most of them are flipped around backwards. Like in the pack, it'll be flipped around backwards. But back in the day, they didn't do that. So sometimes you have to. Like, I've definitely missed SPs in the past. I did a video not too long ago. I think it was the Series 2. There's a boom. The 2019 Series 2, and I was just kind of going through it. And I missed one or two SPs in that because they were just, you couldn't even tell. Unless you knew what the card you knew, you know, which I, I know it pretty well, but I was kind of flying through there. And when I get to talk and I'm not always paying 100% attention, but. And also it'll be in the middle of the pack usually. Who do I PC? Who don't I PC? Even the, I even PC K word kind of. I don't admit that, and I'll deny it, but I have a, like, I'll show you how thick of a stack of Kikuchis I have. I have about that many Kikuchi rookies, maybe more. That's a lot. You missed a Bregman that wasn't backwards today. Hmm. Gonna have to keep my eyes peeled. Well, you, you guys are good at pointing that stuff out anyway. Like, it's going to the person anyway. It just... I don't know if I've ever missed one. Like, someone always points it out if I do miss one during a break. 
or even during a video, man, people are just like, hey, you missed the blah, blah, blah SP. I'm like, oh, really? And I'll go back through and look. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen that SSP, that Tatis SSP. It is cool. Are you talking about the one where he's sliding in? Here we go. Well, we could call this a trout if you want to. How about we call that a, a green ice Mike Trout? Either way, it's going to Greg. Congratulations, Greg. 303 of 499. We'll just call it a trout. Because we can. No, I've never gotten coins graded. I don't know a lot about coins. Although my uncle is a precious metals guy. Jewelry, coins, all that kind of stuff. So if I ever needed anything like that, any info or the hookup like that, I'd go to him. He's the one who got me my, my wedding ring, my wife's wedding ring, my brother's wedding ring, his wife's wedding ring, my cousin's wedding rings. Like, he's the guy to go to for that stuff. And he was also into baseball cards. He lives in Arizona, so I haven't seen him in a while, a couple years. But he was into baseball cards, too. He gave me a, a pretty cool Tigers uh, vintage relic. I don't know if it was manufactured or not, but it was numbered to, like, 50-something. This was... Had to have been about nine or ten years ago when I wasn't into cards but that was pretty cool of him. Well, nothing in that pack. Travis, keep missing the breaks. It's all right, man. I'm doing them a lot lately. I'm trying to satisfy the demand to the best of my ability. <laughs> the egg number to 10 went for 750, says John. I've seen some cards that have gone for a lot of money lately that are questionable. Like the Bitcoin card, the Bitcoin card went for a lot of money too. Pete. Mount Castle. Haybert and Anderson Tejada. Got a foil card, Max Fried. Yeah. Tatis rookie debuts have gone up a lot, but it's proportional. They're they're tied in directly to his base cards, his base rookies. Most of the rookie debuts are, if not all of them. They're just tethered together. And they as one goes, the other goes. They go up, they go down together. It's kind of cool because 
you can get in like say you want to get on in on the tatis craze you can get in at a lower level well that's the beauty of the psa nines too if you don't have a lot of money like now might be a great time to invest in tatis rookie debut psa nines i don't know what they're running these days but they're they're probably at least half of what the psa 10s are and the fact that it's 25 bucks to get a card graded now from psa so take the 25 dollars right off of that you know what i mean like it, it might be a good deal i don't know Clarity. And the silver pack. Here we go. Come on. Have something good in here. How about a parallel? Nay, an autograph. Shoot for the moon today. You got Tatis Chrome PSA 9 for 60. Now it's 200. Whoa. So PSA rookie debut nines are asking around 59-ish. Yeah, let's let's call it 60, 50, 40, th so 35 bucks basically for a Oh yeah, we got a parallel. If you take the grading price out of there. Cool, we got a blue. That's a that's a pretty looking card already. All right, I'm excited. Love the blues. Let's see who it is. Ticking away. Right here. Tick, 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 tick. Austin Meadows going to the Tampa Bay Rays. Is Austin going to have a bounce back year? Is he going to have a good year? I think he is. Very talented. Number one. Number one pick. 57 of 150. Gorgeous card. The blue on blue. Look at that. Going to Mervin. Another standworthy card. So we're getting a few standworthy ones out of this little hobby. I've got a couple Tatis debuts away getting graded right now. Hopefully they come back, but that's the thing about this paper. It's really hard to grade. For some reason, I feel like the the debuts are harder to grade. I don't know if that's true or not, or if it's just a thought. The Bowman, loving it. We're going to get a Dominguez out of here. That's what Selig told me, but everybody knows he's a liar and a cheat, allegedly. Can't sue me now, bud. <laughs> uh, it's just an allegation. Senzel is a sleeper. So is Kiboom. They're going to get a shot, at least. Do I ever use the negative Kluber? Yeah. Kluber Claus is hanging around right here. Usually I use him when we have a three, a three peat lined up. Kluber Claus, Trevor Claus, and Clayton Claus. But he's not as lucky as Clayton Claus. Maybe if he starts pitching well after his comeback season this year, maybe he'll be luckier. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. At least that's what the leprechaun told me. But yeah. You know, those little sneaks. I'm just joking, Joseph. Just a joke about Selig. I'm sure he lied about some, some kind of performance-enhancing drug thing. I'm sure he's lied sometime in his life. And if he would like to prove that he has never lied in his life, well, that would be impossible. And also, not true, because everybody does. So, there we go. The bow. Look at that. Look at that bow. Rookie. Bowman. Cha-ching. 
Lou Bob Prospect card and a Wander Chrome starting out with a bang. Some good ones right off the bizzle. Let's keep it going. I'm trying to think about what we're going to do for the next break. Because they got that Don Russ got delayed. So that'll be next week. What do we want to do next? I'm 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 thinking about getting another high end high roller break established. Like a really sick one, you guys. I'm not gonna give too much of too much away. But I'm gonna work on assembling a really nasty break. It's gonna be very expensive, but it's gonna be the cream. The cream of the crop. So be ready for that. Even better, Tate. Even better. Oh, he's got a bat in his hand. Here's our standard issue blue, sky blue paper. And he's got a bat in his hand. So things are working out already. Batting gloves. Okay, it's a cub. Can you see that? It's going to be a cub with a Nike on his glove. Is it a Nico? It's a Nico. Okay, we were just talking about him early in the break. 428 of 499. And man, these old dogs are tough. A little spot of white on that top left, but I have never seen one without, without a little dot. Other than that, it's nice and sharp. Appears to be centered. It looks like a PSA 9, if I had to guess. That little dot is so microscopic, though, and every other corner is sharp. I like it. Going to Brandon. Congratulations, Brandon. Nico Horner, parallel, rookie, Bowman. No, I'm thinking I'm thinking in terms of who are the hottest players on the market right now. We're going to track their rookies down and first just just think of it in terms of that. Dr. Sticks. Ian Anderson. Relic digging. What's up? Are you out of your mind? Yeah. A little bit, aren't we all? Oh, I think you were talking to the 91 Fleer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys are loving the Sapphire, aren't you? We can incorporate some of that. But just the more, like, there's a lot of high-end products, so you can't have them all. Unless you're talking like a thousand dollars to get into a break or something, but I got I got some things on my mind. Let's just say it has to do with Tatis. Whoa! I just I just came up. Yup, I just had an idea. I just had a great idea. Okay, I know what we're gonna do. I'm going to keep it to myself <laughs> for a few days at least until I can get these things in my hands. I think I just, yep, I just had an idea. <laughs> You're done. It's going to be great. It's going to be so great that I want in. But I'm not going to do that because that's cheap. Kyle Lewis. Can 
Can you keep a secret, Andrew? All right, I'll tell you. I'll tell just you, but don't tell these other guys. You ready? It's gonna with, and then, but first, a. Hey, pretty cool. These guys are gonna love it. I knew you'd like it, Andrew. The best card I've ever pulled is my Bobby Wood Jr. Bowman first green PSA 10 on card auto out of 2020 Bowman. But I also pulled the 2018 Juan Soto SP. That was during the live stream the other day. That was That's up there. Depending on how that grades out, that's going to be... I mean, it's, it's no, like, $5,000 card, but if it grades out, it could be, like, a $2,500 card. I For some reason, I don't think it's going to get a 10, though. But I'll be happy with a 9, I suppose. I didn't... See, that's the worst part, Tate, is I didn't record it. I was just sitting on the floor with my daughter opening opening some boxes, some blaster boxes. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to record it. Because I was, I opened up a bunch of them. I, I had like two, I think it was like two videos I was going to make. And I set it all up and I was going to record a video. And I opened up like three blaster boxes or something. I didn't get anything good. So I was like, I don't want to waste these guys' time with a stupid video with nothing. So I didn't even bother uploading them, which I never even do that. I never do that. I'm always just like, all right, I'm going to open this, upload the video no matter what I get. And it's like the only time ever that I was like, I'm not going to, I'm not even going to upload Because I was going to open up a bunch of them. It gets old. You open up the same thing over and over and over and over, especially if you don't get anything. And then people are like, well, that video sucked. So then I just sat on the floor right behind where we're at right now. And I just started ripping. My daughter was helping me out and out came the Bobby. And I was like, of course. Of course, but it's okay. I'll, I guess I, I'll live. Bayron, paper first, going to Mark. Grisham rookie. What's up, Phil's Pulls with an F? Philly P. And the Chrome. Laura. That's a, a probably about a $100 card and a gem. The only reason I know that is because I just got a couple gemmed up. I got one gemmed up. Been getting offers on it. But I'm not going to sell it for less than 100 Because he's so young, man. These guys take time to, to, to develop. I mean, look, he's like 19. Raw. Very raw still. I think I posted on Twitter or something right after I got that Bobby. Bobby. There's a Bobby. There's the Bobby. Paper Bobby. How about... Where's the... Domingos. Okay, easy striker. We got a bunch of packs left to go. Boom. It's just we haven't been getting him lately, and I've been doing quite a bit of Bowman with you guys. It's a tough pull. That's part of the reason why he's so expensive. Yeah, we do live in the Matrix. Some, some kind of a Matrix or something like that. Haven't quite nailed it down yet, but it's something weird like that. Like, there's some truth to speaking things into existence. I'm not saying you can just, like, conjure up whatever you want necessarily, but there's some truth to it. Is Bigfoot real? No. 
we would have so much trail cam footage of it that it'd be everywhere and we don't have any we have some fake like nonsense where it's like really blurry and far away or like obviously a guy in a suit and listen i'm open i'm open to listening to things and watching videos and i'm not gonna just shoot anybody's ideas down without giving them careful consideration reviewing all of the evidence coming to a sound conclusion evidence-based conclusion but i don't think bigfoot's real could be wrong and if someone does believe in them i'm definitely not poo-pooing on you more power to you I also don't believe in aliens. Although for a long time I was really into like watching all the videos on aliens and stuff. But I, I just, I think it's more of a government psyop than anything real. Because it, the powers that be use all sorts of different mechanisms to instill fear in a populace so that they can be controlled. So here we go. Atomic. But I'm, I, I'm definitely open to any ideas of things that are... I know who that is. You guys know who that is? Do you know who that is? Put it in the chat if you know who that is. I know you do. The first one to get it gets a shout out. It's an Atomic. It's a first. It's a Met. That's right. You got it. A studio. The younger. Wilfred. First. Atomic. Bowman. Frame rate's dropping a little bit, but the KBS is still really high. Don't know why. Wilfred. Going to John. John, I haven't seen you in the chat. Are you, in, are you here, John? John wouldn't miss a break that he's in, would he? Maybe he's watching and he can't type. Something like that. That scenario happens all the time. little choppy yeah that's right Chad even though they do it they don't like you to, they don't like you to talk about it and tell the other sheep they just want you to and and then just keep consuming consume consume Consume. Don't ask questions. Consume. How do you get into a break like this? Well, you become a slammer. Which, is it pinned to the top? See, I can't see anything pinned. Did I remember to put that? For some reason, I don't see if it's pinned. Here you go. It's, they're available at strikerbreaks.com to the general public. However, the slammers get an email when I post a break, and they get first dibs, and they just click on the trigger finger, and they buy it up before the public usually can even know that it exists. So you can become a slammer at the Patreon link right there. It's 5 bucks a month. Cancel at any time. No big deal. It helps support the channel. helps keep me going. So that I can afford to buy some Taco Bell for lunch once in a while. You know, a, a 10 or like a 10 or 12 pack of tacos for lunch. I only eat seven or eight of them though. Save the other ones for breakfast the next day. Nothing better than a hard shelled taco that you reheat in the oven or in the microwave. You know, it's really 
it's not quite soggy it's not quite crispy it's just it's not good but it's it's there and that's what matters you got to make sure to take the lettuce off though scrape the lettuce off first and then you can put it back on afterwards if you really need to <laughs> i gotta get that roughage am i right <coughs> here we go <laughs> benjamin's just like Ugh. i know I got to try to gross you guys out, even though it's true, which is why it's particularly unsettling. Boom. Jeremy Pena. Seems like we get this guy quite a bit. I think he signed about three to one ratio of autos. Ty hooking a brother up. $10 super chat for some tacos. Thank you. Christopher also getting involved. Thank you, Christopher. You guys are great. I might have to, I might have to dabble. It's all about. Oh, you know, you know what the best deal is right now, though. The best deal is those, those tacos with the little. I said this last time too. They're ninety nine cents on the on the dollar menu or a dollar, whatever they are. But you can get like I don't know six of them. So it cost six dollars and thirty six cents. And it's just enough to hit bottom, and they're delicious. But those little tacos, they have little curls in them, the tortilla curls. They're the best. I'm going to get $15 worth of those tomorrow and see how many I can eat in one sitting. And I'll report back to you with a live stream from the bathroom. How about that? Traveler, Traveler, you want me to get $20 worth of tacos and all-you-can-eat buffet them? All right. Thanks, Traveler. I think I should seriously do that. A live, not from the bathroom, but a live stream with, like, just how many tacos can I eat? Hmm. I might have to train for a week just to get up, build some momentum. Clayton Claus. There's a paper Dominguez. At least, at the very least, we got a paper JD. I mean, these are even going for over a hundred. I think maybe even more, man. They might be like a buck fifty or something in a ten. Going to Jack. <laughs> Good, Andrew. I'm glad I can provide some levity. Ah, 20 tacos it is. This is going to hurt. I should... Maybe I just stream the whole thing. Like in line, waiting at Taco Bell. The dread. The apprehension and dread. And also, I'll be really hungry though, so... I'll be a little bit... So it'll be excitement. Dread. Um... Several emotions. Maybe a little disgust. Do I game at all? Yeah, dude. I'm going to be gaming after this. I'm going to be hopping on Warzone after we're done with this. I haven't played in like five days and I'm going through withdrawals. Got that new AUG, that three round burst AUG. I'm a three round burst guy, so I'm, I'm digging it. Alex Carrillo. To four ninety nine. Derek offering to buy me some tacos at the National and a cerveza. Well, here that's I'll take you up on that for sure. But the problem is the cerveza takes away from the amount of tacos you can eat. So that's that's the thing. That's the thing, man. You got to balance that. Because if I'm in a taco-devouring mood, we can't have a cerveza messing up the, the work. But if we're just in like a, hey, let's grab a couple tacos, not a not a 15-pack. Oh, yeah. All about it. Especially a Dos Aquis Amber. Mmm! Delicious. Big kilo guy with the VLK. Yeah, I, I've been... I, I use the kilo mostly for like the whole entirety 
of uh, my Warzone career. I started out with the Grau, and then I moved on to the Kilo, and now I'm dabbling with the Aug. Although, I still love the MP7 as a, a very underrated secondary weapon. Like if you're playing... If you're playing Resurgence, I think the MP7 is one of the best weapons for that. And nobody talks about it. Oh, that's a nice Riley. A purple Riley to 250. Followed up by a Chrome Lubob. Not bad. Look at that. Tiger's on the board. David T. Congratulations, David. Actually, look at that. It looks centered. I'll be. I, I keep forgetting the 2020 Bowman is a lot more centered than the 2020 Bowman Draft. Yeah, I do, Peds. Watch Dr. Disrespect and Z-Laner. I love the doctor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Z! It's a great, it's a great duo, because Z is so, like, I don't know if mellow is the right word, but their personalities are, like, opposite. But Z is just so good. And and Doc is good and on his own in his own way, but not as good as Z. Last pack, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the chemistry. Yeah. What's that Joey Bart Chrome Purple worth? I don't know. I don't know. We're at the tippity top of the mountain. And we're only halfway up. Another Wilfred. All right, that's it. About the same spread on the stand as last time. It's almost the identical break. Let's get into it. We got this Nico to four ninety nine. Beauty. Ended up with a Tatis debut. And it's a beautiful Tatis day. And the relic can't go wrong. Love the Hank. The blue Hank. We're calling this a trout. And it's a green, numbered green ice to $4.99. Austin Meadows. Silver pack mojo to $150. The Riley. Purple to $250. La Tortuga Jr. is he's sometimes known as in these parts. Wilfred Studio Atomic. Jeremy Pena. Should be a little... I always say that, but there should be a little tilde above that, I think. But maybe it is just Pena. I don't know. Jason Dominguez. The paper. And Alex Kriloff. Refractor to four ninety nine, And a big stack of good cards that didn't make it. Especially from those earlier earlier um, update packs. Got a lot of good stuff out of there. Was there a gold in the 2021? I don't think there was. I think we got that, um, that green instead. Let me see. No, I'm not seeing one. Man, are the golds tough. But you know what we did get? We got a gold out of the pack. The 2018 update pack. Like, these feel like they're a dime a dozen now compared to the new ratio. But, yeah, I don't see a gold, no. We didn't get one. We, we got a silver or two. Yeah, we got a couple silvers. But that's it. So, coming soon to a stream near you. Maybe next week we, we do another high roller stream. And we're talking... Mwah! just delicious dripping dripping with amazing high end possibility I know you're going to love it thanks for watching guys and I will catch you all later